Something I did last year on my YouTube channel was have a full day at Disney California Adventure where I did no rides and today it's Disneyland's turn. So let's go spend a day here and do no rides, but still have plenty of fun. I'm actually going to go do something I've never done before, which is get my driver's license at Autopia. Located along the exit ramp of Autopia is the driver's license booths. There are three of them available. You can head inside and for $8 have this cute little souvenir printed out and it feels like a, you know, physical debit card. It's not like a little paper thing. My little camera preview wasn't working, so I just kind of had to wing it and hope for the best that my photos were going to turn out okay. And I think they did. I thought this was really fun and I can't believe I've never done this before. We are over in Fantasyland for a live retelling at the Royal Theater of one of my favorite Disney stories, Tangled. So let's go ahead in there now. The Royal Theater is located to the left of the castle if you were looking at it from Main Street. And this is a great way to get out of the sun for a bit, especially if you have little ones and and want to enjoy a live comical retelling of Disney stories like Tangled or Beauty and the Beast. They have show times throughout the day and it's a really fun way to break up some rides. Kids are also welcome to sit up front on the ground where they put some rugs out, which I think is nice, but this is definitely appropriate for all ages. Now remember, we are here to assist you in any way we can. Should you wish to know where to stand, we shall show you. Should you want to know what to say, we will tell you. Should you wish to recognize one of us for most outstanding performance by a player in a leading role, drama or comedy, we shall kneel before you in humble gratitude. I'm sure you'll both be wonderful. Anything to get that crowd back. I saw Rapunzel let down her hair. <laughs> Down the tower they climb. Okay, this isn't weird. <laughs> Climbing down hair. As oh, no! Next up, let's head into Batu and see what we can get into. Over in Galaxy's Edge, of course there is good food and rides, but you can also find your favorite characters from Star Wars often roaming around like the Mandalorian with Grogu or Chewbacca. You can also catch some droids in training, which is what I saw today. That was super cute. I also just love sitting here to enjoy the ambiance, but you also might spot some stormtroopers and Kylo Ren looking for a rebel spy. Located just as you enter the park on the right hand side is the Great Moments with Mr. Lincoln building, but we're actually going to be checking out the Disney Gallery. This is one of my favorite places in the park, and especially if you're into Disney history like me, this is a spot I highly recommend making sure you set aside the time to visit. They still have the Disney 100 Years of Wonder exhibition inside, which has concept art and information about many rides in the park, which I always love learning about, and even though I've seen this a ton of times at this point, I always still make a point to check it out when I can. They also have the short Once Upon a Studio playing. This was released for the 100th anniversary. It's available to watch on Disney Plus, but it's also playing in here on a loop. So if you have a free moment and you haven't seen it, I definitely recommend watching. But just beware and bring tissues because I cry my eyes out every time I watch this. Took a little break in downtown Disney real quick and now it's time to head back into the park for Magic Happens. Let's go. Magic Happens premiered for the first time in February 2020, just about two weeks before the park shut down due to the COVID-19 pandemic. And it wasn't until three years later that it finally returned in February 2023. In my eyes, this is a must-see if you're making a trip to Disneyland. Definitely set aside the time to do it. It starts over in the It's a Small World area and makes its way down Main Street. It has two showings per day. So the first showing, like I said, starts at It's a Small World, ends on Main Street, 
And the second showing of the day goes the opposite way, starting on Main Street, ending in the It's a Small World area. It features beautiful floats and costumes, and of course, favorite characters like Moana and Maui, Mickey and his friends, Miguel from Coco, Cinderella, Tiana and Naveen, and more. And of course, an extremely catchy song that I think will be stuck in your head all the time. One of the things I love most about Disneyland is that it truly feels like there's a little bit of hidden magic around every corner. And if you don't stop to look around, you might miss it. Like the fortune tellers. This is Esmeralda. You can find her on Main Street USA. She's right inside the Penny Arcade front and center when you walk in. There's also Fortune Red and you can find him over in New Orleans Square kind of tucked away by pirates. I think that there's a lot of really fun details like this around Disneyland that you can look out for. So let me know if this is something you'd like a video on little like hidden secrets of Disneyland or like little hidden gems um, because there's definitely a lot more like this that you can add into your day. So that's going to be it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed seeing some of the things that you can do without actually ever getting onto a ride at Disneyland. Um, I was thinking about doing things like you know, the monorail or the railroad, but like those are bordering, you know, there are technically attractions um, as well as being obviously like a mode of transportation. So I didn't want to include them for this video, but there are plenty of ways that you can just get around the park and just like do loops around the park without ever even, you know, take the boat, take um, the railroad, the monorail, whatever it is. Um, you can do all those things without ever even getting on a ride and still have lots of fun. Um, also, I didn't say this and obviously I'm not going to like include footage of it, but because I try to minimize like how much I show other people when I'm like including just like general park shots and stuff, but I love just like sitting and like stare, <laughs> like stare, literally just staring and sitting um, and not even like people watching, but just like sitting and just like enjoying the Disney ambiance um, on Main Street or like wherever. It's just a really fun other activity um, that I like to do. And I know that it might be hard to squeeze in some of these things, especially if you're really prioritizing rides. Like if you're here on a, you know, vacation and you don't have time to fit in a lot of these things, but hopefully um, you'll be able to make trips in the future where you have more time to fit in this stuff. And now you know about some stuff maybe you didn't know about before. So hopefully this video was helpful and fun. It was probably on the shorter side. I haven't edited the footage yet, but I'm just assuming. Um, but that's going to be it. If you're not already subscribed, I really appreciate it if you would do so down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next one again really soon. Bye.